Hi everyone, I'm Roger, a gadget guy. Screen mirroring is a great way to share the stuff that's on your phone with friends and family using the big screen on your TV. Here's a video that's on my phone to show you what I mean. Screen mirroring can be super easy, or it can be incredibly frustrating. And that's because not every phone works exactly the same way with every TV. Now I'm gonna demystify all of that and show you ways that you can be guaranteed that your phone will mirror its screen to your TV. You can find the button for screen mirroring in the pull down quick settings menu. You may have to scroll left to find it and you're looking for screencast. And all you do is push screencast and select the device you wanna send it to and then just push start. Now everything that's on your phone and your phone's audio plays on the TV. Let's open the eBay app. You can hunt for bargains online with your friends. If you rotate the phone screen to landscape, the image on the TV screen adjusts too. This one says it works. To turn off screencasting, just go back to the control panel, click on screencast and then disconnect. To do what I just showed you, I used a TV with Google's Chromecast built in. Now, recent Sony Bravia TVs, Vizio smart TVs, and some models from Sharp, TCL, and Hisense have Google TV with Chromecast built in. I'll cover other kinds of TV shortly, but first, let's talk about phones. Firstly, your phone has to be on the same Wi-Fi network as your TV for screen mirroring to work. And that applies to any method that I'm gonna talk about today. That being said, any Android phone that's been made since 2015 will work with any version of TV with Google TV. And it will also work with any version of Chromecast dongle, which can be attached to any TV that has an HDMI input. And these days, that's all of them. Some Android phones, like Samsung's, can't screen mirror to Chromecast using their pull-down menus. I'll explain this more when I talk about other kinds of TVs. But for now, the easiest way to screen mirror to a Chromecast-enabled TV from a Samsung phone or any other phone where the pull-down menu doesn't work is to use the Google Home app. And you can find this on the Google Play App Store. It's free and works really well. Google Home is Google's app for setting up and installing their smart devices. Once we've installed the app, we can open it and go to Devices. And there you'll see all the smart devices in your home. And we're gonna select Basement TV. Once the TV is selected, we can click Cast to My Screen, and then Cast Screen, and then Start Now. Now, whatever's on your phone shows up on your TV. To stop screen mirroring, you go back to the Home app, you click on Stop Mirroring, and the phone disconnects. If you're looking for a new TV that you can be sure will work with your Android phone, look for the words Google TV or Chromecast built in. Most of these TVs also have Apple's AirPlay, so they'll work just as well with an iPhone. This Vizio says works with everything. That really means any iPhone or Android phone that's less than about nine years old. If your TV doesn't have Chromecast and you don't have a Chromecast dongle, you may still be able to mirror the screen of your phone. If you have a Samsung phone, and a Samsung TV, you access screen mirroring with a button in the pull down quick settings menu labeled Smart View. To start the screen mirroring, you touch the Smart View button, then select the TV that you want to use, and then touch Start Now. If you don't find the Smart View button, or it doesn't work with your Samsung TV, you can screen mirror from Samsung's Smart Things app. You can find the SmartThings app on the Android App Store. The SmartThings app works on a Samsung TV the same way that a Google Home app works on a Chromecast TV. LG phones work in exactly the same way, 
with LG TVs. Samsung and LG don't have Chromecast in their TVs. Instead, they use an older technology known as Miracast, which they've improved and updated so that their phones work very well with their brand of TV. Many other TVs support Miracast, including Fire TVs and Roku TVs. Some other brands of phone also work with Miracast. Try it by first enabling the screen mirroring on your TV, then go to your phone settings, choose connected devices, then connection preferences, then cast. If you can see your TV listed, you can mirror the phone screen to it. If Miracast doesn't work for your phone and your TV, the best option if you have an Android phone is to buy a Chromecast. I tried many, many third-party apps for the phone and TV that claim to enable screen mirroring. The free ones are terrible and the paid ones are expensive enough to make buying a Chromecast dongle a much better option. One exception to this is the Fire TV. Now, Amazon's Fire TV doesn't come with Chromecast, but there's a great app you can get, which will let you use Google Screencast form of screen mirroring, and you can cast from many Chromecast enabled apps. This app is called Air Receiver. It costs $3 and it's well worth it if you have a Fire TV. To install Air Receiver, we go to the App Store and then we find Search and then we go Air Receiver. There it is. Now we can install it. I've already paid for this app on other devices, so I just download. Now we open it and we do want to allow Air Receiver to access photos and media. That's the whole point. Fire TV sticks don't have AirPlay and AirTunes audio uh, enabled, and so you want to leave these boxes checked. This TV already had AirPlay installed, so I'm going to uncheck these boxes so I don't confuse an iPhone user. I leave Google Cast checked. DLNA is very useful. I do want it. And I do want to enable streaming from YouTube application. And then I go down and I can change the device name to something more friendly. Once you exit the setup screen, Air Receiver runs in the background. With the app installed, you can screen mirror from any Android phone in the same way as you would to a Chromecast. And there you have it. Once you have it mastered, you might be surprised how often you cast from your phone screen to your TV. It really is a great feature. If you like this video, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That's all I had for now. Thanks for watching.